you just got a new drawing tablet but you're probably wondering how the heck do i set this thing up well you're gonna learn in this video hey there my name is enderman the creator of the enderman arts channel this is where i document my journey to become a great artist animator and storyteller if you want to improve in those areas of creativity along with me make sure you smack that like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single enderman classic a few steps may vary depending on which operating system you're running either windows or mac therefore make sure you check out the description for timestamps in order to find exactly what you're looking for first things first you want to go ahead and power up your pin display by plugging it into an outlet like so next grab the usb and hdmi cable and plug it into your laptop slash pc if your laptop does not have an hdmi port you'll need to have an adapter like a lightning cable for mac or an hdmi to usb adapter if you don't have an hdmi port that's open on the back of your pc you're probably gonna need an HDMI to port display adapter. I'll leave links to all of these in the description below. Once you have that done, go ahead and turn on your pin display. Display setup for multiple monitors and windows. To set up your drawing tablet's display, if you're using multiple monitors, you wanna go to your desktop, right click, then choose display settings. A certain amount of numbered boxes will be displayed here depending on how many monitors you have. In my case, I have three, my main monitor, my secondary monitor, and my display tablet which counts as a monitor by the way if you click on this button right here identify a few numbers will be displayed on each monitor so you can tell which one is which from there you can arrange them however you like this makes it easier for navigating your mouse from one screen to another but with the number box which represents your drawing tablet selected which is one in my case you want to scroll down and go to multiple displays and you want to click the drop down you want to choose extend desktop to this display from there you should see your desktop show up on your drawing tablet if you're on a laptop you obviously don't have to set up multiple monitors so if you plug in everything to your laptop it should show you your desktop automatically if it doesn't show up for some reason you should be able to just follow this process and everything will be a-okay setting up your tablet on the mac you want to make sure your lightning cable is plugged into your laptop and your HDMI is plugged into your lightning cable. And you want to go up to the top, click this little Apple icon, then choose System Preferences. This is going to pop up. Then you want to click on Displays. You want to optimize for the Canvas Pro 16 so you're getting a pretty clear picture when you're drawing. Then you want to go over to this window here, choose Arrangement. And you want to make sure the option Mirror Displays is checked like this. The reason why you want to check this option is because you want whatever shows up in your laptop to be projected onto your pen display. Alrighty, now we want to download the drivers for our tablet so it actually works and we can get to some drawing. The process is pretty straightforward. Simply open up your favorite web browser. Now you want to go to the website for whatever tablet you have. I have a Huion tablet. You may have a Wacom. It's the same process. Just go to the Wacom website. I'm going to go to the Huion website because I got a Huion. You can put two and two together, right? Uh, type in Huion dot com okay we're on the huyan website guys we're gonna go to pen display and we're going to choose the model for our tablet in my case it's canvas pro 16 yours might be different just choose the one that's yours next we're gonna go to download scroll down a bit product model we're gonna choose canvas pro 16 you're gonna have to choose the operating system you're running right now i'm running windows if you're on mac go ahead and choose mac but i'm gonna choose windows of course and we're gonna download the driver hit submit and i have a canvas pro 16 and not the canvas pro 16 premium so i'm just gonna download one of the drivers right here so once you've selected everything up here you're gonna scroll down then you're gonna download one of the drivers over here so make sure if you're a mac user to follow this step and you want to click on the apple icon choose system preferences and you want to choose security and privacy first we want to go to the general tab when you have the general tab selected go ahead and unlock this to make some changes type in your credentials then you want to make sure this second option is selected app store and identify developers if this isn't selected the mac os won't let us open up the application for our tablet then we can just go ahead and lock this next you want to go to privacy scroll down to 
accessibility. Now you will see tablet driver agent and who you on tablet. Go ahead and unlock this to make changes. Type in your credentials again. You want to make sure that who you on tablet is checked. This is the application for your drawing tablet. And you want to make sure tablet driver agent is checked as well. It's not a bad idea to follow these steps, even if you have a different brand of tablet. Go ahead and lock this up and you should be good to go. Once you download the drivers, the download usually comes with some kind of application or software for configuring your tablet. And I'm gonna get into that right now. So this is literally the same process for Windows and Mac. All you gotta do is search up the application that came with the download. Go ahead and open it up. All right, if you have a Huion tablet, you'll probably see something similar to this. Pretty sure other brands of tablets have something similar to this, like Wacom. Primarily wanna use this thing for configuring your tablet and your pen. There are buttons on the tablet that you can configure to your liking. Uh, there are buttons in the pin. You can change the sensitivity of the pin. You can do a pressure test and set up your workspace, which we'll get into in a minute. If you ever feel like your tablet is a bit off and the cursor is not exactly aligned with the, the tip of the pin, you can click on monitor calibration and you grab your pin and you just start pressing the red dots to calibrate your tablet. And as you can see, my cursor is moving as I move my pin. Choosing a workspace for multiple monitors. All right, so this step is pretty crucial if you have uh, multiple monitors. So in your application, you wanna go to work area, go to the top, click this little drop down, and you wanna choose the display that corresponds with your tablet. And you may have to go through a couple of these to find which one you want. Right now it's on my main screen. I don't want my workspace to be there. I want my workspace to be on my tablet. That's where I'm gonna be drawing. In my case, my drawing tablet is display two. If you come across the problem of um, moving your pen across the tablet, and your cursor ends up on a monitor for some reason, all you gotta do is go to monitor calibration, calibrate it on your tablet, and you're good to go. If you found the video helpful, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, and hang the bell so you don't miss a single Interant Classic. I got the description for the social media and the podcast. There will also be links to all the gear I use to make these top quality videos. And feel free to check out the previous videos shown here. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Interman from Interman Arts. Signing off.